guys welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to be back it's been literally forever um i took a long needed break there's a lot i needed time to focus on my priorities mostly school a lot of things are changing <laughs> but um i'm so happy to be back i decided to do vlogmas as my little comeback I'm not too sure if I'll be doing every single day, for sure, weekly, um, like collect videos throughout the week and then post them Friday or Saturday like I usually did. I am pre-filming, I'm not an A1, I'm not, I'm cheating as you can say because if, for those of you <clears throat> don't know what Vlogmas is, it's basically um, recording, editing, and uploading a video every single day of the month of December until Christmas. And I am, no, I'm not there yet. <laughs> You'll be seeing a lot of me, my boyfriend, most likely a little bit of my family. Um, I plan on having fun with you guys this whole month. So um, this is the start. So today we are doing a little DIY. So we are doing a wreath DIY for my door. Um, my entrance door, door entrance, entrance door. <laughs> it's a wreath using super cheap things and things that you have around your house. Okay, so materials that you will need are a hanger, a wire hanger, some ornaments, whatever ornaments you want. Um, I suggest small, medium, and large ornaments or just medi medium and large ornaments um, to fill everything up and any accessory of your choice i have a bow so this pattern what's it called buffalo plaid i think it's called my family has decided to use this pattern this year we got our pajamas in this um pattern as well as some slippers so i'm excited for you guys to see those when the time comes i'm pretty sure everyone has a wire hanger laying around their house so that's an easy find that you already have. Um, and I have Dollar Tree ornaments and Walmart ornaments. Um, I bought a full pack of Walmart ornaments that are large and small. Um, they were $7.98 and then like several packets of dollar store um, ornaments. This can easily be very affordable or you can just use the old ornaments that you have laying around your house that you haven't used in years. So you can either spend no money or very little money. So it's all on you and what you would like. But yeah, we're going to do this together and see how it turns out. Hopefully it turns out super cute. Let's get started. First thing you're going to do is take your wire hanger and as you see this the handle is twisted up, so you're gonna untwist that. Be very careful, please do not hurt yourself. Um, if you have pliers, that will work perfectly. Or if you're like me, use your boyfriend to do the dirty work. <laughs> um, my boyfriend happily untwisted mine. Um, and then once you get it untwisted, you're gonna bend the wire until it's in like a circle form. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but since I'm a perfectionist, I tried to make it as circular as possible. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and now all you do is literally weave the ornaments into the wire and that's it. Simple as that. And there goes our very first ornament that will be up here. So there's that. I'm gonna do several of them with you guys. And then we're just gonna do a fast forward of all this cause it's gonna take a while. Um, there's no particular order I'm going in. I'm just putting them in. Um, I try not to have too many of the same colors in the same spot so it can look even as possible, I guess. Um, but yeah. So 
there's really no big science to it. You just put them in and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> also trying to interchange like solids with glitters. The one problem with getting cheaper ornaments is that you run into the problem of them falling off of the little hanger thing. Okay, if they give you too much problem, you can just hot glue them in, but I don't really care enough to do all that. So I'm just putting them in. That's what it's looking like so far. Just gonna move these up. Put some Christmas music on. Get some hot chocolate. Your Christmas movies on. And this will probably go by so fast. Like I'm already, I would say a third of the way, I would say. I wanna make sure that there aren't very many empty spots, that it's pretty congested. That's why I wanted to get so many ornaments so that you can't see much of the wire. Again, like I said, if you have stubborn ornaments that are, keep falling off for the little crown, then you can just easily hot glue them and no problem. Having um, different size ornaments easily hides like it'll hide fill in the cracks and you can move them around so like if one side has too many of the bigger ornaments then you can move them to the other side as you go or whatever you'd like so that's the gist of it so we're gonna be going all the way around um so at this point, I'm just gonna speed through this and I'll see you at the end so that we can um, ravel this back up, put the bow, put the Merry Christmas, and we're gonna call it a day. Okay guys, so this is where we're at right now with all the ornaments on it. And um, a lot of the ornaments fell off. <clears throat> so I need to go back and fill in where they dropped off. But right now, what we're gonna do is twist back the hanger to how it was before. So I'm just gonna twist it just how it, used, how it was before. Doesn't have to be perfect. And be very careful, please. If you had wire cutters, this would be so much easier. But I do not, or I'm just too lazy to go look. <laughs> okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. It's twisted on there. I don't think it'll come off, so. There's that, now I'm gonna go back in and put the, ornaments that fell off and just move them around so that it looks more fluffed and there aren't any bare spaces. I can't decide which side. <laughs> well, don't do that. So this, I don't know if it's backwards for you guys or what but i got this little merry christmas sign from the dollar store i'm gonna put in the middle and then put a bow on top so we'll be hot gluing this to the middle honestly thought that was gonna be a lot smaller you know we make accommodations it's okay all the time but for sure i will be putting the bow on top i might put a bow on both the front and the back because I don't know what's the front and what's the back um, just to be safe and I'm just going to the bow that I got ha already has twisties so I'm just gonna twist it to the hanger best way possible you can definitely get a bigger bow I definitely would opt for a bigger bow but this is what i have for right now so there it is 
There is the front and there is the back. I love it, I love it. Looks like a lot. So I will either leave this just like this is um, or find a smaller one to go in here or put something in there, whatever you'd like. But this is the gist. This dog thinks that she's a lap dog, but she's not. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm definitely not a professional DIY channel obviously but this was just fun to do with you guys so i will be hanging this on the door and you guys can see it stay tuned for the rest of this series vlogmas series i'm excited to be doing videos again and having you guys watch um definitely like comment and subscribe spend time with family have fun see you later